self energy of a sphere of charge a solid sphere of radius capital r contains a total charge capital q distributed uniformly so it's a uniform charge distribution throughout its volume find the energy needed to assemble this charge by bringing infinitesimal charges from far away this energy is called the self energy of the charge distribution after you have assembled a charge q in a sphere of radius r how much energy would it take to add a spherical shell of thickness dr having charge dq so this is what we should think about and then integrate to get the total energy okay so we have already a sphere that contains charge q with radius r now if we consider the volume charge density rho for the sphere if it's a uniform charge distribution then we have the charge q it contains uh, divided by the volume four thirds pi r cube right and therefore the charge it contains can be written in terms of rho as q is equal to four thirds pi r cube pi r cube multiplied by rho the charge density now i consider the gaussian surface which is the spherical surface with radius r prime so this is my gaussian surface i'm going to apply gauss law and obviously you can see that r prime is greater or equal to r so if i write gauss law the closed surface integral electric field dot product with the area vector this is the total flux because the electric field is going to be radially outward and it will only depend on r prime e times 4 pi r prime squared which is the area will give us charge enclosed q divided by permittivity of free space epsilon zero so we can see that the electric field is q divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r prime squared in r prime hat or r hat direction it's going to be radially outward electric field now what is the potential at r prime potential at r prime minus the potential at infinity i do this with respect to infinity where i define potential to be zero this is minus the integral from infinity to r prime electric field dot product with displacement dr all right and now i can find the potential at r prime the potential at infinity is zero is minus the integral from infinity to r prime the electric field is q divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r square the displacement is dr in r hat direction so here i have changed r prime to r because now i have the r prime as the limit so this is the dummy variable r and that gives me a potential at r to be q divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r now what is q it is the charge density rho multiplied by 4 thirds pi r cube and then i have 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 r you can see that four pi's will cancel and this r will make this r cube r square and i will be left with potential at r at the surface to be rho r square divided by three epsilon zero 
okay so i know that this charge distribution uniform charge distribution at its surface creates a potential rho r square over 3 epsilon 0 this is the potential it creates right at the surface where i will bring an infinitesimal charge so now let's bring a spherical shell with charge dq what will be the charge it will be rho multiplied by dv so that will be rho multiplied by 4 pi r square dr now the total charge will be q plus dq and the radius will increase from r to r plus dr but since these are infinitesimal the change in rho here will be negligible when i bring this infinitesimal charge so this is ba basically brought from far away which means it's brought from infinity to this uh, spherical charge distribution all right so here is my original charge distribution spherical charge with radius r now the radius becomes r plus dr i brought this additional infinitesimal charge which is rho dv okay now what will be the potential energy change the change in the potential energy will be the potential i have at that point in space multiplied by the charge i'm bringing in vdq the potential at a radial distance r from the center is rho r square divided by 3 epsilon 0. The charge that I'm bringing is rho times 4 pi r square dr. Uh, that's the volume dv 4 pi r square dr. So the total potential energy of this configuration is done with small steps like this bringing infinitesimal charges one by one at each point i have uh, four pi over three epsilon zero now i have rho square integral zero to capital r rho square r to the fourth power dr all right and this will be equal to four pi over three epsilon zero rho square r to the 5 over 5 where this charge density rho is now total charge q divided by the total volume 4 thirds pi capital r cube this is r to fifth over fifth over 5 and this potential energy is equal to 4 pi q squared nine r to 5 capital r to 5 divided by 3 epsilon 0 then I have 16 pi square capital R to the sixth power multiplied with 5. So this will make this 9, 3. And 4 pi will make this 16 pi square, 4 pi. And R to 6 and R to 5 will cancel. So this will be just R left at the bottom. Therefore, the potential energy of this configuration will be 3 over 5, 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0, q square divided by capital R. So that will be the potential energy of this uh, configuration. 
and now you can see that when r goes to zero this seems to suggest the potential energy will be infinite so i note that as r goes to zero the potential energy blows up but bringing a point charge from infinity since the initial potential is zero when there is no charge i bring a point charge actually this will cost no energy so this result that i have obtained here is valid only for a non-zero r so this doesn't apply to a point charge that is being brought from infinity to a zero charge distribution because that would imply infinite potential energy but you can see that if i have a non-zero r so if i have if i don't have a point charge but i have a finite amount of charge then it's going to uh, apply all right so in this example in this problem we have considered a solid sphere of radius capital r containing a total charge q distributed uniformly throughout its volume and we're going to calculate the self energy of this charge distribution first of all if you have already a sphere with radius r that contains charge q what is the potential it creates at its surface it is kq over r so this i have verified by looking at gauss law for a gaussian surface with radius r prime greater than r where the charge enclosed is q so charge enclosed divided by epsilon zero is the closed surface integral e dot da which gives me electric field is q over four pi epsilon zero r prime square in r prime head direction the electric field vector points radially outward and it's parallel to the area vector now knowing this potential at uh, r is kq over r what is q it is the charge density multiplied by the volume 4 thirds pi r cubed so it is rho r squared divided by 3 epsilon 0. now if i bring a, a spherical shell with charge dq this is going to have a total charge rho times 4 pi r squared dr and that will be uh, when I look at the uh, potential energy change of this configuration, it will be the potential at that po uh, point in space, which is at radial distance r, multiplied by the charge that I'm bringing to that point in space or collection of points in space, which is dq, vdq. So rho r square over 3 epsilon 0 is the potential I see. The charge that I'm bringing is rho times 4 pi r square dr. Now I note that this charge density rho actually depends on the total charge and the total volume so i'm increasing the charge and the volume at the same rate so that i have the same charge density so that this charge density is a constant it's uniform which is equal to capital q divided by 4 third uh, pi capital r cube so when i take this integral from zero to capital r so i'm bringing charges uh, spherical shells containing charge dq every time uh, to to this final uh, radius capital r i will have obtained the total potential energy the total potential energy of this configuration is 3 over 5 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 q square over capital r now this capital r when it is zero this seems to suggest the potential energy is infinite but we know that as r goes to zero u goes to infinity but if i bring a point charge from infinity to a no, a no charge distribution zero charge initial potential will be zero so therefore it will cost no energy so this result is actually only valid for a non-zero capital r value